So this is where your library is kept if you go to preferences and then go to plugins. Well, your plugins are in here, but if you click locations, these is where your plugins are normally referenced to. Obviously, it's going to be different on your machine, but for me, it's Nebulous Library Audio Plugins VST. And um, also, Nebulous Users Rich Library Audio Plugins VST. And it's uh, always recommended to rescan. And if you're having, whenever you're having issues, always rescan. So now, if I go and load up Safari, I'm going to download a VST now. Uh, just go to Block for Beats, and then if I go to uh, Free VSTs. And then go to, I don't know, let's go for the free pitch. Let's go ahead and download this. Download here. So I've downloaded a pitch proof VST and on a Mac all I need to do is drag the VST into the VST folder which is linking to library audio plugins VST on the Nebulous drive which is what I mentioned a few moments ago so just drag it over to there like that authenticate put in password and there you have it, Let's close that I'll close Safari. If I go back to preferences on a Mac, it's Command and a Comma, and then you want to go into pl uh, Plugins, Locations, then Rescan. Right. Let's just put this on the sample. Put in the sample group. See that we go to external, go to pitch proof, which is here. Let's just mute the drums. I don't need to pitch down a sample really to be honest I can just record the record straight off the vinyl and then throw this plugin onto my group which contains my sample and then just throw this VST across the, the group and then just play around with the pitch play around with the key here you can tune it here and um, we're good to go anyway I hope that helped this is how you uh, install VSTs into machine 2.3 and upwards. Hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.